Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and I'm back bringing you another Football Manager experiment here on my channel. And today we are going to be doing Paul Pogba at Chelsea. So with this series, of course, last episode we did to Stegen at Barcelona. But I don't want to just stick to transfers that actually go through. I feel like with this series we can kind of explore the possibilities. So throughout this summer as transfer rumours come out, players get linked with different clubs. We're going to do different experiments with transfers that may or may not go through. So today we have Paul Pogba at Chelsea. This is one that's sprung up in a few sources over the last kind of few days. And I thought it would be kind of an interesting one to do, particularly is Pogba is one of the best players on paper in Football Manager with a minus 10 potential which if you don't know uh, players within Football Manager have potential abilities and current abilities. Current ability is how good a player is at the start of the save. Potential ability is how good the player can become. Uh, and these values vary. Uh, and to can make sure the game is always different, uh, most players, particularly the younger players, potential abilities have a minus value. Now this doesn't mean they have a bad potential ability. In fact, it just means they have a b ability within a bracket. Minus 10 is the highest bracket, and that is a 180 to 200 potential ability. Two 200 being the highest ability a player can have. Pogba is one of four or five players, I believe, with this rating. Other players include Jan Azai, uh and Marquinhos uh, at PSG. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Just one other thing, guys, before I kick off this experiment and we go forward three years. Um, I'm not going to do yearly updates this time, as I did with the Testagen uh, episode, because it kind of dragged on a little bit. Instead, we're going to go forward three years at a time, look at Pogba as he advances all the t way until he retires. So hopefully you guys like this new format. As you can see, he's at Chelsea. This should be interesting, and I'm kind of curious to see how he develops as a player and perhaps how his attributes grow uh, as we see him mature into a, hopefully, a valuable first team player at Chelsea. So I'll join you guys in just a second. Right guys, so we've gone forward three years, and as you can see it's 2016, and Paul Pogba is now 23 years old. And the first thing that's quite apparent that I can just see at a glance is the fact is attributes have indeed improved over time. Other things worth noting, well this year he did break in and play a vital role in the Chelsea first team squad, uh, getting 38 appearances. And if we look at how he's done at Chelsea since he joined, he's played fairly frequently. This season just got he didn't do too well in terms of his average rating, but last season he did okay for the club. In fact, it'd be fair to say that in the last two seasons he's been pretty vital for them. In terms of where they finished in the league, they were predicted to finish first and they did finish first so that's pretty good news I guess. And they also won the league in 2014. If you look at the stats here you can see that Chelsea have a few players on here but Pogba is nowhere to be seen but he's certainly having a impact on the team. Finishing two, first two years out of three certainly isn't bad at all. Another thing worth knowing is the fact guys, I am on the LFC Marshall update. I forgot to mention that earlier on but we are on the update that basically updates the squads uh, etc um, to what they are now as I record this video. So anyway, Pogba's done really well there. You can see here by his attributes polygon that he has improved as a player. And he's also played a little bit for France. We will check on his how he's done for France in just a second. But if we look here over at the information tab, you can see he's done pretty well all in all. Playing at centre mid for Chelsea and playing a fair bit... Um, you know, in other competitions, obviously we highlighted the fact he played 38 games in the league. Uh, he has also played in other competitions. And another thing worth noting is Jose Mourinho is still the manager of Chelsea uh, right now on this save. So we'll take a quick look at Chelsea's fixtures so we can see how they got on this year. You can see they lost in the first round of the Champions League knockout round. They also lost in the FA Cup sixth round in a replay. Um... Doesn't look like Pogba played, interestingly enough, or at least he didn't start. So perhaps he's not the one to blame. In the Champions League, however, you can see here they played against Chelsea. And he only got a 6.5 rating as they lost 2-1. And in the 2-2 draw they got at the Camp Nou, uh, he averaged a 6.7 as well. So he didn't do too well, uh, too well there, but Diego Costa did grab a goal for Chelsea. So it's interesting to see him doing well there. So anyway, uh, Pogba's done okay so far. Let's have a quick look at his career. And if we go to his overview and achievements, it should give us an insight into what he's won over the last few years that he's been at the club. So he won the Capital One Cup and Premier League um, with uh, Chelsea, won the European Under-21s Championship with France in 2015, so that was last summer. And then this year, of course, they won the Capital One Cup again and the Premier League. So overall, he's done pretty well there. If we look at awards here, this has a mixed bag, actually, of everything. 
Um, he was named in Chelsea's seasonal best 11 at the end of 2015. I don't believe their seasonal 11 for 2016 has been announced, but that's pretty impressive. And he was also there for 2014, so I feel like it'd be safe to say that right now, um, Pogba's having a pretty vital role in Chelsea's team. If we look at their starting lineup. And um, in fact, this is probably a better way to look at it. You can see they've got Ross Barkley and Diego Costa playing ahead of him and Matic. So he's probably been given quite a creative role in the team. Matic, of course, a very good holding midfielder. So my assumption here is that Pogba, given his great creativity and his ability going forward, has been given a slightly more aggressive and attacking midfielder role. But interesting, nevertheless, uh, as you can see here, he's on thirty. Uh, he's valued at thirty-four million, and he's on eighty thousand pound a week. Uh, and right now he's looking like a pretty decent player and he certainly had a good start so the interesting thing I guess to note here is also the fact that he's got a new contract and that means that he's probably going to be staying at Chelsea for another three or four years at least uh, way into kind of his mid-twenties yeah okay right I'm going to go forward another three years we will examine exactly what he's done obviously uh, France haven't won anything with him or as it would come up under his awards and France are actually 26th rated in the world in the club rank uh, sorry in the world FIFA uh, national rankings which is pretty disappointing so maybe Pogba can have a role in amending that uh, as we go forward with this so anyway guys going to go forward another three years to 2019 while Paul Pogba will be age 26 and he will be entering his prime Okay guys, we are back once again. Paul Pogba, age 26. Holy crap, he's improved. He is looking incredible as a player. Creatively, he's improved again. Looking at his overall season, he's made 53 appearances, if you include appearances off the bench, and 48 starts. Played for Chelsea in 35 games this year. And looking at his cap change, he's made over 40 caps for France in the last three years, which is pretty darn impressive. So first things first, looking at his last three years... Um in 2016-2017, he had a bit of a disappointing year here, only 31 appearances. I'm just going to check, did he get injured potentially in that time? Uh, looks like he did have a period out. He broke his wrist actually at the end of this season, so that might explain some of the seat games missed this year. But looking at it, he had a few minor injuries in the 2016-17 season, but I don't think that's a reason that he'd miss as many games as he did. So that's a little bit interesting. Didn't have the best season either, getting a 6.92. But since then, he really has hit some form. And as you can see here, in 2017-18, he averaged a 7.39 rating, which is really good for a centre mid, getting 8 assists and 11 goals. And then in the season that's just gone, another 8 goals and 5 assists. So if we look at his achievements here, uh, he has continued to win uh, silverware. And you can see here, at the end of the 2016 season, they actually won the European Football Championship with France so we did talk a little bit about how maybe he could lead France to some glory so it looks like he has started to do that and their world ranking is now up to second which is really impressive obviously the likes of Varane and Mangala are still essential in the French team but you can see here Paul Pogba fourth highest reputed player uh, in France so he's certainly playing a role for them in terms of how he's getting on um, if we just go back again you can see here also in the Confederations Cup uh, with France, won the Champions League with Chelsea, the FA Cup with Chelsea, and they retain. Or would, no, they didn't retain. They re, they won the Premier League in 2018 and then retained it the following year. So he is winning a hell of a lot of silverware at Chelsea right now. Chelsea are doing really well on this save. Mourinho is still their manager. You can see uh, their team is very similar still. Diego Costa still playing, but overall predicted to finish first. They finished first again. If we look at the league table. Um, they did just about edge Man City there. Not the most convincing thing, but what is convincing is the fact that Chelsea have won the league uh, four out of the last six years. So Paul Pogba certainly having an impact, you'd have to say, looking at it like that. So he has played really well. If we look at his history and achievements, and then rather than looking at his uh, glamorous, I think glamorous is probably the right word for it, winning competition history, particularly since he's joined Chelsea. If we look at his awards... He was named in the France Seasonal Best Eleven, shortlisted for the 2018 World Golden Ball. That's really impressive. Maybe you can replicate that uh, towards the end of 2019. Uh, Chelsea Seasonal Best Eleven he was in. France's Seasonal Eleven again. Confederations Cup 2017 Best Placed. Um, he's He's doing well, put it that way. Named in the European Champions Cup Dream Team. And... Um, 
got third place in the 2016-17 Golden Boot. Blimey, he must have done well that year. I think it'd be safe to say if we ch change years. Was it was it this year or was it the year before? Oh, here we go. Uh, he got in the uh, uh, Champions League Golden Boot and he was edged out by Zapata and uh, Keebling. So he did pretty well there as well. Seven goals in 13 appearances in the Champions League is really impressive for a centre mid. So Pogba doing some work right now. Um, he's improving. He's playing well. You can see here. Played centre mid for the most part. Uh, he is doing crazy. And when you compare him to his two brothers, Matthias Pogba, who's currently playing uh, in Saudi Arabia, and then compare him to his other brother, who's playing at Saint-Etienne, um, it'd be pretty safe to say that right now he is doing some really... Uh, special things at Chelsea. Also, see that Eden Hazard is one of his favourite personnel, so that's a little bit interesting to see. But overall, Pogba is <laughs> shining right now. If I tell you what, if Jose Mourinho is sat at home playing FM, <laughs> running simulations of players he should sign, Paul Pogba's your man, according to this. Anyway, guys, we will go forward another three years. Pogba, now age 29, going into age 20... Oh, sorry, now to age 26, going on 29 as we go into this next update. Really hitting his prime. You'd expect 29 to be about his peak as a centre mid. And I'm kind of curious to see if he's still having such a big impact at Chelsea. Because right now, he's doing crazy. He is doing crazy. Welcome back, guys. We are now in 2022... Let's see how Paul Pogba's getting on. As you can see, a tribute wise, he's not actually improved that much, but he's still playing a hell of a lot for Chelsea. Uh, his value has dropped, but his wage has gone through the roof. He has three years left on his deal. He's currently unhappy and transfer listed by request. Can we get any more information on why he might be um, upset? It looks like Chelsea missed out on Champions League qualification, so he's clearly not happy about that. Let's have a look at his playing history for this season. You can see he played pretty well all in all. It looks like Chelsea were in a continental competition this year and if we look at his last three years at the club he's played incredibly. Absolutely insanely. 7.34 rating for the 2019-20 season and you can see he played in 43 appearances in all competitions. Following season he did really well again. Got 54 appearances in all competitions this year. A hell of a lot on the continental stage. And then this season just gone as we mentioned. He's done pretty well here. These ratings are really impressive as well for a centre mid in average ratings. Especially in the league if you consider how many games he's actually played. So we'll quickly check on how Chelsea did. Where did they finish in the league? They finished sixth. Wow. And if we look at it here. Chelsea have not won the league in the last three years. So if we just flick back. Here you can see, um, what year do we want? We want 2019. Uh, obviously, Chelsea won it that year. Then 1920, they finished second by one point to United, which is pretty hard to take. Uh, then last season in 2021, uh, Arsenal actually ran away with the league a little bit and United tailed off. And then in this season, uh, you can see here, Chelsea finishing sixth behind the likes of Manchester City, Arsenal, Tottenham. Liverpool and Southampton. Interesting to see Southampton up there. So all in all, looking like a little bit of a mixed bag for Chelsea. You can see Jose Mourinho is still their manager. We'll be interesting to see if he can hold on to that role uh, if he continues to have another bad season. If we look at Pogba's achievements, we'll have a quick look and see what he's been winning and what he's been up to. Uh, so actually, they've not won anything since the Community Shield three years ago to You'd have to say, given the rocket start that Pogba had and kind of how crazy he did, he's kind of toned it down a little bit. If we look at his awards here, maybe this will tell us a little bit more. So he was shortlisted for the 2021 World Golden Ball, shortlisted for the 2020 World Golden Ball, and shortlisted for the 2019 one. So I think that's four years in a row now that he's been shortlisted for the World Golden Ball, but he hasn't won it yet. You can also see that he's always been named in the seasonal best 11 for both France and Chelsea pretty consistently uh, through this career. Uh, if we go and look at France, let's see what they're up to now. They're down to eighth in the... Uh, world rankings system which is a little bit disappointing for them um, if we look at their history can we see what they've won recently uh, 
what have they won recently, if anything? They came third place in the World Cup in 2018, so obviously we missed out on that before. We already knew that they won the European Football Championship, but just confirmation of it there. Um, they won the Under-20s World Cup, obviously that's irrelevant now with Pogba, being a Pogba aging, but it looks like France haven't done too well since the World Cup uh, four years ago. Obviously there is a World Cup this summer that is yet to be played. Um, I'm going to just assume at this point that... Um, um, what do you call it that uh, France have qualified it'd be pretty rare for them not to have qualified if we're honest um, where is the international competitions here we go international I'm blind uh, France they are in it so there is a chance that maybe Pogba can be do something there and if we look at the French side you can see uh, he's still a key first team player for them so Overall, Pogba's having a little bit of an off-season. He hasn't had any injuries, I don't think. In fact, he did have a double hernia in September of 2019, so that might have impacted him a little bit. But overall, right now at 29, he looks like a pretty darn good player still for Chelsea and still an essential part of their team. It'll be interesting to see if he can get the move he appears to desire um, right now, given Chelsea's lack of success. Um, but anyway guys, we'll go forward another another three years till Pogba's 32 and then what I'm going to do after that is I'm actually just going to go forward until he retires and we can have a look at him as a whole. But anyway, I will join you guys in just a second. So here he is guys, Paul Pogba, aged 32 and he is still at Chelsea, which is kind of interesting in itself. If we look at his stats overall, it has declined a little bit on the physicals, but you'd have to say his creativity has gone up, and we'll kind of expect to see more of that, um, particularly as he gets older, his mentals may start to improve a little bit. As you can see here, he has got another two years left on a new deal at Chelsea, so that's interesting to see. And uh, this season, he only made 24 appearances, so let's just have a quick look here at what he did during the last three years. And actually looking at it, he still played really well. Um, in the 2022-23 season, continued to play very well for them. 55 appearances overall. 15 continental appearances, which suggests to me that Chelsea maybe made the final. Either that or they were playing in the Europa League, which actually, now I think about, we know they were, so that might not be the case. Uh, then the season before last, again, another really good season for him. Got a 7.3 average rating in all competitions. And then this last season, only making 28 appearances uh, in the league, four of which came off the bench. So at 32, perhaps Pogba is starting to be phased out. Doesn't look like he's had too many more serious injuries so it is just a case of his natural decline and him not being as essential I guess in Chelsea's team if we look at his achievements here uh, we can actually see that Chelsea have gone on a good little run once again which is nice to see because obviously they did have that dry spell in 2019 and since then they actually won the league and the Champions League in 2014 and then followed it up by winning the Club World Championship and the Community Shield Obviously, we are now a season after that, so clearly they couldn't retain their crown. And in fact, they did drop down to fifth this year, which again means they will miss out, presumably, on the Champions League. Indeed, they will. Cardiff somehow beating them to that. Answers on a postcard. Uh, but no, we're not going to look at Cardiff, despite how curious I am. Uh, Chelsea finishing fifth there which is a little bit, I guess, disappointing. But overall, Pogba's still playing really well. Uh, you can see here, if we look at his international kind of status, over 106 appearances, and now for France, which is pretty darn impressive. Uh, if we check the World Cup, let's see how um, France got on. So in 2022, Germany did win it. Um, can, can we look at that 2022 World Cup? I'm not sure if we can, unfortunately, which is a shame. Um, but no, we, we can't, unfortunately. But I'm going to assume France didn't finish top three. We can check that, actually, if we just go to history and then um, competitions should load up for us here. No, they didn't. OK, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, is he still starting for France? He isn't, from what I can see. In fact, it doesn't even look like he's in the French team. Either that or I've gone blind. Let's change it to position. Nope. Definitely dropped completely. Which is kind of unsurprising in some ways. Because he is quite old at this point at 32. And France do have very good regions. So that doesn't surprise me completely. But I don't know. I maybe expected him to have somewhat of an effect there. But looking overall you can see he continued to be shortlisted for the World Golden Ball. Uh, named in the European Champions Cup Dream Team. Shortlisted again for the World Golden Ball. In fact, 
he, I think he's been shortlisted every year. He's just never won it. He's just never won it. He always gets on the shortlist, but he's never there. And even this year, he did get in the France best season at 11. So maybe that's a little bit of a shock to see him dropped from the side. But anyway, guys, that is 32-year-old Paul Pogba. I'm now going to go forward to the season where he announces his retirement. And until the end of that season, we can have a look at him as a player. Have a little look at his career. And uh, you guys can let me know what you make of him as a player. And if you think he will be at Chelsea come the end of the season. Okay, guys, so it's now 2029. And first things first, Paul Pogba is now retiring, aged 36, having finished his career at FC Twente. First thing I just want to bring your attention to is his mentals, which did improve as I kind of anticipated them to do. It's just a general thing with players. And interesting to see that uh, his good kind of physicals during his early years have helped him prolong his career. And he's still retained a little bit of his pace and his natural fitness is still fairly solid, despite the fact he's 36. Overall, he didn't make too many more appearances for France after we saw him last age 32. So it's only been four years since that last kind of a look, I guess. So anyway, quick look at his career stats. He finished out his contract at Chelsea, somewhat kind of, I guess, fading out. Uh, only 30 appearances in the last two seasons, which wasn't quite as well as he'd done before. And even his average ratings took a little bit of a tumble. Uh, I guess old age just caught up with him. And then he did indeed see out his career at FC20, as I already mentioned. You can see here, 27 appearances and 28 appearances. And he actually had a few good seasons there. Really good seasons, you know. 7.35 average rating, age 35. And following that up with a 7.23 average rating this year, just gone. It's pretty darn impressive overall for a player. So it's kind of interesting to see this guy. Uh, obviously, he didn't make too many moves after we moved him to Chelsea. And when you consider that um, the only transfer officially on this is the fact that he moved from, uh, or rather, from Le Havre Athletic Club uh, to uh, Manchester United... Um, he only ever transferred for 89k obviously um, it's very unlikely and it's not going to happen the case that he moves to uh, Chelsea if at all on a free from Juventus um, but no kind of interesting to see just how much of a core player he ended up being at Chelsea over these years that's a long time to be at a club 13 years in total if we look at his achievements here you can see he didn't actually win too much more uh, during the rest of his career after 2024 Indeed, Chelsea somewhat have dropped off the plate pace. You can see here they didn't win the league after 2024. And Liverpool won it this year on goal difference to Arsenal. How tight was this goal difference? They conceded two less goals. That is an incredibly tight league. Wow. Um, so that's a little bit interesting in itself. But overall, Pogba had a pretty darn good career. I think you couldn't really argue with that. He was even shortlisted for the World Golden Ball um, during his last kind of season at uh, Chelsea. Uh, but other than that, they never really won anything, unfortunately. Um, in fact, he did finish runner-up in the European Super Cup and uh, win the World Club Championship. So I guess that was his big final farewell. Just a quick look here at his staff attributes. You can see here... Um, kind of what he wants to be he wants to be a manager maybe he could become a manager we're not going to hang around to find out unfortunately because this experiment really is just focusing on his playing career but interesting nevertheless to see him kind of play the way he has and uh, really stick to one club and improve I don't know about you guys but obviously Pogba is a very good player in FM but I somehow just kind of expected him to maybe move around a bit more to, to see him really settle down at Chelsea and play for all these years is pretty darn impressive so anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode of FM Experiments. Hopefully you enjoyed a slightly different format in terms of trying to get through the years a little bit quicker. If there's anything you'd like to me, cover, me to cover in a little bit more detail, feel free to leave it in the comments. In fact, any advice regarding the format for this series is really appreciated. It is a new series. I'm still finding my feet, working out what you guys want to see, but I feel we're slowly working towards a more effective format. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if we could hit... 250 likes that would be amazing and other than that guys it is me jack and i'll talk to you guys in a bit i'm out